Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I'll be discussing what I thought of that awesome, exciting, and surprisingly kind of heartbreaking season finale for Star Trek Lower Decks. Oh my god, what a great episode. You know what? This might have been one of their best, if not the best episodes they've done, and it was an awesome season finale. You know, it was such a treat and an unexpected delight and a surprise to get animated humorous versions of both Riker and Troy showing up to save the day, of course, in awesome Star Trek fashion. And then I never understood why they always they kept the whole Captain and Mariner being mother-daughter thing a secret, why they were both so concerned how people would... I guess they were concerned with how people would retreat and regard them if they knew the truth, as we obviously saw there. Oh my god, the line that cracked me up the most is when the one guy goes up to Mariner and she's like, yeah, hi. I know, I remember you. We dated once. You said, you said Wolf 359 was an inside joke. <laughs> oh, God, that cracked me up. It was so dark and so funny. <laughs> Man, the references on this show just never end, and I love it. I loved the Exocomp uh, Starfleet incident. That was one of my favorite episodes of Next Generation, where they uncover that those Exocomps are actually life forms, not just maintenance tools or robots. And the fact that they brought one in and made it a Starfleet ensign was awesome and hilarious to me. And of course, Tendi is so goddamn funny, even when she's not trying to be funny. Like when she seriously thinks Peanut Hamper is an awesome name. And later when it's revealed Rutherford lost his memory because his microchip thing was yanked out. Instead of getting all sad and depressed, she's like, well, then that means we get to be best friends all over again. <laughs> she was hilarious. And then the villains, the... Uh, the Packy, uh, Pack, Packla, whatever the hell they were. They're, it's hard to remember their name, but I rem I knew who they were talking about because we've seen them before in Star Trek Next Generation, and the premise was almost identical. You know, someone responding to a distress signal, it's a trap, they spring the trap, and then they steal or salvage whatever they can from the starships that fall for their traps. And they made it for pretty nasty, intimidating villains in this episode. And this was an exciting, action-packed episode, too. We saw starships shooting and firing on one another, and then we got some hand to hand between the Cerritos crew and uh, our main bad guys. I did not expect or wanted to see anybody die in this episode. Um, you know, a humorous animated show like this, you didn't think, oh, no, they're not going to kill a major character like they would on a live action show. Nope. Poor Jax. R.I.P. Jax. God, what a funny character he was. Even his little picture at his funeral, he looks really angry and he's got an eye popping out of his socket. But he died heroically in a really badass way. He got Rutherford out of there right before the ship blew. Oh my God. Rutherford going through the different emotional modes while he was telling him, well, I figured out a virus. Here you go. You just got to go across there. And then the enthusiastic mode was super funny. And then the badge. Badgie was hilarious. Hilarious too. They brought back the Starfleet badge who wanted to kill Rutherford the whole time. Oh god, this episode was so good and so goddamn funny. <laughs> and now Boimler got his dream. They promoted him to Riker ship of all ships, but it probably won't last long, and he'll probably eventually make his way back to the Cerritos with the rest of his friends. You know, because there is a second season coming. Don't know when exactly, but they did announce a second season well before this first season premiered, you know, two, three months ago. So at least we have that to look forward to. Solid season finale, exciting, action-packed, a little emotional, super, super enjoyed it. What did you guys think of it? I want to hear your thoughts and your feelings down below in the comments section. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more Star Trek-related videos. We've got Star Trek Discovery Season 3 dropping very soon on also on CBS All Access on October 15th so you're not going to want to miss that because I will be doing a review for it. Alright guys have a great rest of your night and of course until next time may the force be with you. I mean <laughs> live long and prosper. Oops. <laughs>